Hello everyone, it's me, Tisha Sayama from TSL. Welcome back. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fine. And of course that it feels so great to see you guys again. Since I'm wearing this hat and this clothes and outside the sun is shining, what should we do then? Well, I have an idea. From the previous video, I think I spoiled you about what we're gonna do today. Today, I'm gonna take you guys to the wonderful island because our topic is travel. So how come we won't go out and explore, right? Before we explore this amazing island, let me ask you this question. Where is your favorite beach or island? Because if you already have one in your mind, after watching this video, you might add it to your bucket list for your next holiday. Okay, the island that I'm gonna take you to today is called Gok Mak. In Thai, Gok means island. Gok Mak is located in Tra province in the east of Thailand and it is far from the city. It takes one hour from the pier to the island by speedboat. Actually, my grandmother's place is in Tra too, but this is gonna be my first time going to this island. Before our trip starts, let's pack our stuff, shall we? It must be very sad if we miss something when we have a good time staying on the island, right? Well, let's pack and learn vocabularies together. First, you need basic stuff when you travel. A bag, clothes, and your personal care products. Next, swimwear, sandals, a swim ring, tan lotion, sunblock to protect you from strong sunbeams, cameras, a floppy hat, a speaker, sunglasses, and first aid kit in case you are injured or sick. Okay, that's enough, I think. Oh, we should hurry since the boat will leave in 30 minutes. Let's go! To get to the island, we have to take a speedboat from the pier to the island which takes around 1 hour. The island that you are seeing now is called Gok Gradat. The reason it is called Gok Gradat because Gradat in Thai means paper. So this island is as flat as a paper. That's the reason why it's called like that. Now we have arrived. Let me show the place where we're gonna stay tonight. Lazy Day Lazy Day is a resort located on Gokmak Island. It is one of holiday destinations that offer calmness and peaceful atmosphere. Oh, and our receptionist is giving us warm welcome. A lazy day resort, there are 12 peaceful beachfront bungalows, and this is our bungalow tonight. Imagine you wake up in the morning and the brilliant view is just right in front of you. How amazing it is! One more information that we need to know is that cars are not allowed on this island. Therefore, you have to park your car at the pier where we took the boat. Then, you use a motorcycle or a bicycle provided by the resort, or you can rent them from the shop on the island. Alright, let's explore the island by riding a motorcycle. This is on the way out to the main road from the resort. very verdant and lively. And this is what we got from the exploration. I can tell that it just mesmerizes me. Okay, it's afternoon now. Let's come back to the resort. Since the weather is nice, not too hot, shall we play in the water? Oh my goodness, look at the water, it's crystal clear. It's so clear that you can see the coral, stone, small fish, 
or cutie sea cucumbers down there. You can also see the paradise through the water by paddling a kayak provided by the resort. Here is my dad. And this is the highlight that we're waiting for. How was our trip? It was fascinating, wasn't it? If you travel there, I bet that you will have such a remarkable and amazing experience just like me. Since we went to the east of Thailand, how come we forgot about fruit, right? Can you guess what they are? Yes, rambutan, or in Thai it is ngo, salaka, in Thai is sala. And last one, king of fruits, durian, or in Thai is turian. And for durian, it's also fried just like this. You can see that it looks exactly like chips. Mmm, it's very crispy. You can hear that. For people who don't like normal durian because of its smell, I think fried durian can be another good choice since it doesn't smell at all. I'm pretty sure that you will love it. However, if you travel and buy durian back home, make sure that you pack or seal it nicely because its smell is quite strong. It's so strong that some hotels have a sign that durian is not allowed. Alright, if you go on a trip, it's very normal that you might forget something. Let's see useful expression to say that you have forgotten something. There are four ways to say. First, I forgot plus now. For example, I forgot my passport. Second, I forgot plus infinitive. For example, I forgot to empty the trash. Third, I don't remember plus gerund. For example, I don't remember turning off the light. A last one, I can't remember where plus clause. For example, I can't remember where I put my car keys. Next, I would like you to listen to the conversation between Esther and Mina. They are preparing to live on a trip, but seems like they have a problem. Let's see what happened. We have to leave in 30 minutes. Have you finished packing? Yes, I have. You look worried. What's wrong? I can't remember where I put my passport. Oh, no. It's here somewhere. When did you last have it? About 10 minutes ago. Let me think. Oh, there it is. I put it on the dresser. What a relief. OK, what seems to be the problem? Yes, Mina forgot where she put her passport. Let me ask you then, what sentence shows that Mina forgot her passport? Correct. I can't remember where I put my passport. Talking about forgetting something or lost and found, many public places such as airport and hotels have lost and found offices. At the lost and found, you can retrieve your lost items that were found by other people. Let's move on to the next part. I would like to talk about present perfect tense. What is it? Present perfect tense is used to indicate a link between the present and the past with an indefinite time. Plus, this tense is used with the event that has taken place from the past and still continuing now. The structure of present perfect is subject plus have has or sometimes with not if it is negative sentence plus past participle. For subject, I, you, we, they, we use have and he, she, it, we use has. And words used to indicate present perfect tense are already, yet, never, before, recently, lately, since, and for. For example, Mike has gone to Hawaii for three months. It means that at the present time, it has been three months now since Mike left his house and he is still in Hawaii, not coming back yet. Next, I have had arachnophobia since I was four. 
Arachnophobia is a fear of spiders. This sentence means that when I was four, I started having a phobia. But until now, the speaker can be at any ages over four. That phobia still exists. Lina has cooked for two hours. It means that from the time Lina started cooking until now, it has been two hours already, and she is still cooking. Okay, let's practice five more before we move on to the next part. First, Jacqueline worked as a secretary for five years. Exactly, Jacqueline has worked as a secretary for five years. Number two, we have the same car since 2019. Exactly, we have had the same car since 2019. Number three, I be to USA before. I have been to USA before. You may have a question why we use present perfect with this sentence since the action already ended. Yes, the action is not continuing now, it finished in the past. But we don't know when it happened. That's why we use present perfect. Number four, he talked with his friend on the phone. Exactly. He has talked with his friend on the phone. And last one. They dance in the ballroom. Very good. They have danced in the ballroom. Alright, before we finish our class today, let's read a short message from Amelia. I think she's going to Paris and wants to rent the room while staying there. Let's read and answer questions. Hi Chloe, my name is Amelia and I'm from Argentina. My friend Bella and I plan to visit Paris June the 1st to the 5th on vacation. We saw your apartment and it looks perfect because it is right in the city center. Here's a little about us. We're both 21, we're students and we love to travel. I've been to Paris but I haven't spent much time there and Bella has never been to France. We're excited about our trip and we hope we can stay with you. One question. Our plane arrives at 10.30 p.m. on June the 1st, so we'll get to your house late. Is that okay? Looking forward to hearing from you, Amelia. Okay, let's start with the first question. Who is Amelia traveling with? And when are they going? Exactly, Amelia is traveling with Bella. And they're going on June the 1st and to the 5th on their vacation. Next question is, have you ever been to Paris? The answer is yes and no. For Amelia, Yes, she has been to Paris, but for Bella, she has never. Because it says here that I've been to Paris and Bella has never been to France. Third question, what is Amelia's question? Correct. Her question is that, is that okay if they arrive home late? Since their plane arrived at 10.30 p.m. on June the 1st, so they will get to close house late. And last question. Can you find present perfect tense? There are three sentences here. Yes. First, I've been to Paris. What about second? Exactly. I haven't spent much time there. What about last one? Correct. Bella has never been to France. Well, this is all for today. Today, we have been to Gokmak. Learned about useful expression when we have forgotten something and present perfect tense. I hope you enjoyed the trip to Gokmak and our class today. Make sure that you subscribe to the TSL channel down here so that you won't miss our lessons in the next video. Thanks for watching this video and I do look forward to see you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye bye.